in rectangle ABCD. So we know that all of our angles are 90 degrees. So we put that information down. Right, and the next we know that there's more information given to us where it indicates that J, K, L and M are midpoints. So we know that this would mean that this is equal to this and by knowing that the opposite sides are equal we know that all those uh, those lines will be equal so this will be equal to this and likewise because these opposite sides are equal then they've given us lengths which is 24 now if this is 24 a b then this means this is 12 and this is 12 and likewise with the bottom we have 12 and 12 and then if this is 5, A, A, B and B, C are, are 10 centimeters, then, then now we would have 5 and 5. So all I've done is I've put the information down and I'm going to use that information, as much information as I can from what is given to me in the question. And I'm going to see how I can approach each of these questions asked to me. What kind of quadrilateral is J, K, L and M? Now, by looking at these four triangles that have been formed here, they are right angle triangles, we can clearly see that the lengths, the, should I say, the uh, bases are the same and the heights are the same. So, therefore, this would mean that each of these hypotenuse would be equal. So, we'll indicate this here with three strokes to show that these are equal. And then we can say the kind of quadrilateral is J, K, L and M is a rhombus. We can, because this is a one mark question, we just indicate that it is, a, it is a rhombus. At a later stage, should you be asked, you can even further go on to say um, the opposite angles are equal by proving this. But it all depends on the types of marks allocated to each question. Calculate the length of line segment KL. So looking at KL, we see that KL is an hypotenuse. So we know that we will be using Pythagoras. So if I had to draw what we are looking at in our diagram, just the KL part. So we have KL here. We have this to be C. We have this to be 12. This to be 4. Five and obviously this would be we can call that R right so by basically looking at this we can see that we are working with what is known as Pythagoras so Pythagoras is basically all a matter of substitution but you need to know this formula which is x squared plus y squared is equal to R squared Right, my x will be just like the Cartesian plane, my x and y axis. So your x would be there and your y will be there. So let's substitute our values. So where we see x, we see the num number 12. 12 squared, remember to square it. Where we see y, we see 5. That's great. And then we have r squared, but r squared is my kl they want me to find KL. Now remember it's KL squared. Alright, so we have 144 plus 25 is equal to KL squared. And remember at the top here we must write Pythagoras. Alright, you must have a, a reason whenever it comes to geometry. So when you are saying x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, please put, you can put theorem of Pythagoras or some people put PYTH. But as long as you can indicate to your teacher that you know that you are using the law of Pythagoras, theorem of Pythagoras. So this will give us 169 is equal to KL squared. So what we're going to do is square each side. So 169 and the KL squared will be find the square root of it we'll have kl is equal to 13. so this would be my answer and remember the measurements are given in centimeters so we know that kl is equal to 
13 centimeters we can if you want to put that information there in your diagram should you later on need to use it then we get calculate the perimeter of quadrilateral JKLM now you've indicated that JKLM is a rhombus so you know that all the sides are equal and also you've shown it by your diagram that all sides are equal so all you need to do is you need to find the perimeter and remember perimeter is the walking distance around the shape so if you had to walk all the way around the shape I add those totals up so you could say perimeter is equal to you can add each side 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 or if you want to you can say 4 times 13 and that would be 52 centimeters